My life is hard. My life is hard. And it's very difficult. My goodness, you filming me, Mr. Paul. Hello, everybody. I don't need to uh, introduce him. It's me, the girl in black mask and black glasses. How nice to see you again and again. I'm still ill. <sighs> we had a floating, and the life is good, but it's very hard. <laughs> well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back. We're at the Marie Curie Lounge Bar on Bar Street in downtown Kedipathos. And of course, we're getting up close and personal with it. We are on the upstairs terrace, and slowly but surely, we're cleaning it down. And Mr. Paul's gonna start doing some testing with some sanding. So stick with us, because I think Priscilla Booth will be taking over the camera work. Here she is brushing out the tracks, and we've now got this set of doors to slide all the way back. And of course, all three sets of doors, slowly but surely, will open up and give you access to this rather nice upstairs terrace. Imagine it when there's an artificial garden on that wall. Imagine it when all of the trellising has been rejuvenated and transformed into a nice shade of green. And imagine it when you are sitting on this terrace, looking out across the treetops and the rooftops into that blue, 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 Mediterranean Sea and of course even on a day in November we get an awful lot of sunshine so there'll be a sail or two and of course some tables and chairs and this is where you can come and sup on a pint or two. Let's go and see as she investigates the tracks to see what rubbish is actually in them. It's not only the rubbish I have got a question. Huh. Why didn't I put my gloves on first? And the second, why did this cat was jumping up? Any cat who wasn't, which was not lazy to jump up through the broken video, it just did poo pooing and pee peeing. <laughs> that appears to be the case, yeah. When you look, I mean, we don't like some of the color schemes, by the way, but if you start to study some of this wallpaper, we all understand what's been going on. There's been a cat or two residing in the Marie Curie Lounge Bar over the last few years. And of course, they have been uh, sharpening their claws on the lower sections of the wallpaper. If you're new to the channel, this is the upstairs VIP orange bar area. And as we go around, once that sign has been taken down over there, that is the wall of fame. And that's where you could have your name on a brick so that everyone knows when they go up and down this staircase, they can read those names. And I understand that you were one of the founding and helping members at the Marie Curie Lounge Bar. If you'd like to get your name on a brick, all it costs you is 50 pounds. If you'd get, like to get your name on one of the stairs, yes, we've got 17 steps, two have already gone. One to Sir Robert of the Shore, and of course one to the princess known as Princess Tracy. And of course the spectacular ceiling, if perhaps you'd like your name hanging on a star. Do you fancy that one? Yeah, well, a brick is 50 pounds. A star is 100 pounds. And if you want one of those exclusive, one of only 17, and there's only 15 left, until of course we decide to build one or two more. 200 pounds on one of the steps on the Hollywood staircase. If you want to gift us that money, all you've got to do is hunt us down on PayPal by looking up these magic words, Paul G. Cyprus, P-A-U-L, that's Paul, G is G-E-E, -E, and of course the magic word Cyprus on the end, and up will come my face, and of course the face of the most beautiful woman in the world, smiling and saying a very, very big thank you, especially to you. I would like to say not only big thank you, huge thank you to the people who are trying to su support us. And oh my God, good job I'm wearing the black glasses and black mask. I can go and rub anything. I can understand that if I didn't brush these stars to start with, is if I didn't brush it, my hover would just, it would cry. 
it would cry. It would cry with a huge black, dark and hot tears, as we say. This is how we express uh, the um, understanding of crying if somebody cries from the bottom of his heart. I am crying from the bottom of my heart, but my hoover will be crying even more if I didn't brush it first. Because look, so what? So get brushing through the CV Because look, what she did She is I... brushing like crazy in the tracks. I say we've got this set of doors open, and slowly but surely we're going to get the other two sets open as well. And the plan today is to remove all of these nasty little bits of carpet that are still stuck on the upstairs lounge floor. I'm going to be scraping them off and in some cases even going to the extremes of using some sanders. Mr. So Paul. One or two sanders. Hold on, we'll come back to you in a minute, Chris. You brought one or two sanders with me. I'll be sanding down bits and bobs. Yes. Look how much it was only from here. That was just up from to that here. front of but this set of doors. It's not finished yet. Why don't you want to say about our floor tin that we have? Well, we had a bit of a flood last night. Yes, the plumbers came in last night and hooked up the upstairs new tank and the new solar panels and the pressure pump. And of course they switched the water on. And uh, well, over those few years of neglect, it's been about 14 to 15 years, by the way, little people have been in and uh, shall we say stolen bits and bobs from the toilets and the basins. And if we look carefully down the side of that toilet, we can see that somebody in their great wisdom decided to steal that little piece of plumbing. And also, they decided to have a little thievery down here as well. So one or two pipes are missing, as we can see. But luckily, it wasn't too bad, and we managed to stop that flow of water. But at least we know the water is working, and we do have water. As of Monday of next week, our internal plumber is coming, and he's gonna be putting all the little bits and bobs and making sure everything's watertight and checking all the piping and popping in a sink or two. So definitely from next week, we really, really can get a move on. Electricity and water, those two things that we take for granted in life, this building has not had them for a very, very long time indeed. If you're curious to know, if you're new to the channel, how much we've spent, 10,000 on a complete rewiring and just under 5,000 euros now on the plumbings, bits and bobs and the plumber. And I think very soon we will not be having enough to eat anything. No, because it's all going to the bar. What's going on here? It is indeed, but we intend to make it the greatest lounge bar oh. in the world, certainly in downtown Ketapafos. For those of you who perhaps are new to the channel, this is the upstairs terrace, which is a sizable terrace, which probably will hold somewhere between five and six tables. As we go back into the upstairs VIP lounge, Again, we'll be having somewhere around six to eight tables. Come with me as I take you down the Hollywood staircase and I'll show you the main bar, the lounge bar area and the outside terrace area. And then we'll come back up, talk about the Wall of Fame and of course the stairways known as the Hollywood staircase. And it's a fabulous bar, by the way. There's something very, very special about the vibe when you come into it. And everyone who's popped their head in, and you're more than welcome to if you're in downtown Ketapafos, if those front doors are open, that means that we're here. And you wanna pop in and say a big, big hello, please do. So, this is the downstairs bar area, and it's the biggest bar in Paphos, there's no doubt about that. It's approximately 18 meters long. So that's quite a few feet. The electricity is on. There's lots of rejuvenation to be done. There's lots of modifications to be done. But it's got the makings of the greatest bar in the world. And this is the little outside bar on the terrace. So this little area here is the outside terrace that I'm going to show you. And this will be known as Marika and Me on the terrace. And of course, you can come to the outside bar, but of course, there will be table service as well. There's the main bar again, 
as we go back through. I think you understand we can seat somewhere around about 50 to 60 just in this bar area on its own. These are the cables that are hanging from the ceiling. This ceiling was a little bit dilapidated, shall we say. But there's been a man in and knocked off the rough bits and the chunky bits. When you come back in a week or so, that's all going to be panelled off. And of course, we'll be beautifying it along the way. This is the spectacality of the lounge bar area. And the camera just can't capture it, by the way, because there really is an absolutely spectacality of a ceiling indeed up there. And it mimics the ceiling of the upstairs lounge bar. And it is amazing, by the way. You wait until it's all lit up like a Christmas tree. You wait till the bifolding doors go in that far corner to allow a little bit more light to come in. You wait until this floor has been chemically clean, polished and resealed. And of course, this is going to be the dancing floor in the Marie Curie lounge bar. You wait till the sofas and the chairs come in. It's going to be a spectacality of a place indeed. And we invite each and every one of you to come and join us on our official opening date, which will be the 15th of March, 2025. Not that long ago, it was just a pipe dream, but now very rapidly, it's becoming reality. There's that view again, treetops, rooftops, straight out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. We're on Bar Street in downtown Ketapafos, the most famous street in the world, certainly in Paphos. Every man, woman, dog and cat knows where Bar Street is. And right in the centre of it is the biggest bar on Bar Street. And of course, that is the Marika and Me Lounge Bar. So don't forget to come and see us when you get on that big bird and jet into downtown Cato Paphos. Let's go back into the main bar. Here's the front entrance. This is what you will see. Obviously, it'll be a little bit rejuvenated a little bit spruced up, a little bit more marikarized, shall we say. And here comes the girl herself down the Hollywood staircase. Have you finished I up there? I need my gloves. No, of course not. Of course not. It needs days after days, days after days. But if I don't put my gloves, my mom, when she sees what I'm doing without gloves, she will be very angry on me. And I don't want anybody to be angry on me. I don't just... Yeah, we are still dreaming of water. So first, you're washing your... Uh... This actually sounds like... How nice. And now, I must have my gloves on. My panda napkins, nannies, how nice. Nannies, nanny nuni. This is what we say when we put the baby to sleep. Nani, 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 na. And the baby's sleeping, this is a secret. Now I'm nani in my hands and put in. Ah, uh, should I put it? Check. My gloves. My lovely gloves, a rose one. Now, ha, ha. these are from the previous, um, the previous one. Where are my new ones? Ah, hiding of me. But of course I can't find anything and anybody. Now I put another glove, glove actually, and I'm going, <coughs> my goodness. And I'm going to switch off the Hoover, the Hoover, with the mask. Oh my goodness, should we go and, sh and show the people, our oh, dearest people, what is going on there on this? Should we? I think I was born with this brush, actually. I was born with this brush in my hands. At night, I see the brush in my dreams. Mm. Do you want to see what's going on here? Mm. Okay. I can, I cannot. I can. Ooh -hoo, ooh. I, hope, I hope I'm okay. Yeah, of course I'm okay. 
Na, 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 na. Out or in? Out. Of course, out. Chuck, look. Look what's going on. Mr. Paul, film it in the way that I won't need to explain. No comments, guys. No comments. Look. Look what's going on here. Just make sure you film it. Do we have a big washing machine? Who is calling me that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Plenty of dust at the no, Greek no, no, Lounge no. Bar, that's for sure. I'm going to go stand outside and show you 15 years of dust being brushed out onto our terrace. There we go. If you like what you see, please hit the like, smash that subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness as we take you on our next adventure as we clean up this rather rundown bar in downtown Ketapathos and turn it into the most spectacular bar in downtown Ketapathos, a bar that will be waiting for you from early in the morning if you fancy a breakfast, if you fancy light snacks all day as we crescendo into the evening time. And that's when the party atmosphere will begin at the Marika and Me Lounge Bar. Don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform because that's how you could gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you, as a gesture of goodwill. And of course, you can also join us as a superstar member. We'd like to say a big, big thank you to one or two of them that have. If your name is Sir Carl, Lady Rebecca, and of course, the young man who likes an ice cream flavoured with chocolate, and our Viscount James, we thank you very, very much indeed. Lady Kirstein, Sir Scott, thank you very, very much indeed. And a big, big shout out to your grandson, of course, the man known as, well, the little man known as Alexander the Fantastic. Chuck Norris is in town. <laughs> I think somebody's lost me. I have to jump up now like a spider woman because somebody's after me. Somebody's calling me. First it was a Viber and now it's a normal phone. What can I do with this brush? How? It stopped. It stopped. Overall, we are very, very happy. Even though we are scared. No, somebody's after Someone's me. Someone's calling Marie Kron on a phone by the sounds of it. So we're going to follow her up, the Marie Kron and me. You know, I had a, a little box with a jewelry many, many years ago jewelry box and it was a ballerina on the top and if you open the jewelry box she was take it away Grisie Leboeuf give us a twiddle main entrance to the Marika and me lounge bar we're going to say thanks for watching if you like what you see don't forget hit the like smash that subscribe keep on coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness and please don't forget to go and hunt us down on PayPal if you'd like to get your name on the wall of fame on the Hollywood staircase <laughs> perhaps have your name in lights on one of those magic stairs or perhaps hanging like a superstar 50 pounds for a brick 200 pounds for one of the stairs remember there's only 17 and 15 have already well two have already gone and 15 are left and of course there's one or two superstars waiting to be hung from the ceiling, and that's a hundred pound. Paul G. Cyprus, that's all you're looking for on PayPal, and we thank you very, very much indeed. Time for the big, big goodbye from the girl known as Miss Ochin Grisivi Leboeuf on the Hollywood staircase. I would like to thank you, to say to you that no matter what, we're gonna open ill, healthy, happy, unhappy, we're going to be here like two zombies with the brushes. We will actually think that we have to go on with the brushes on the opening day. Of course, remind me not to come out with a brush in my hands. Loving and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you again very, very soon <laughs> indeed. Look at that for a ceiling. Oh my God goodness imagine your name hanging on a star just like a superstar or perhaps on the wall of fame
example,